Yeah, it's it's uh, there's a name for that, and the name is uh, Super League. Uh, that's the that's why they are fighting each other, and and it's quite uh, I don't know what word to, uh, to use to define uh, how the president of La Liga can have such a bad relationship with uh, both the, the two top teams in Spain, Real Madrid and and Barcelona. But uh, saying that Javier Tebas is responsible for Barca uh, financial situation, of course, that you cannot say that because uh, Tebas is not responsible, but management, it, it has uh, been in a bad management that it's coming from a long time ago. I would say uh, when they signed Neymar and, and when they start doing that uh, crazy contract, uh, that locker room knew the numbers and they asked for more salary. And now we are at a point where uh, Barcelona that didn't win any kind of trophy this season, uh, they have the big, uh, the biggest salary in all Europe, 560,000 uh, euros. So that's something crazy. They have to work on that. They need to sell assets. Um, probably what Barcelona would have to do, probably, is to stay, try to balance the book to fix the situation and maybe stay two years low profile uh, without signing and, and trying to, to put the, the, the books uh, together and to be back on the market. But, of course, this is a club uh, of the members, the members vote, and you cannot do that. President Laporta cannot do that. And uh, after uh, a year without a win and also a year that Real Madrid beat her rivals, won the Champions League and, and, and the La Liga. So it's yeah, it, it, it's a big mess and Barcelona it's it's in a really this in this market is in a you can be at the, a win-win situation well Barcelona is a lose-lose situation because they need to sell all Europe knows that they won't be making that much money in any player they they need to decide and 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 they need to try to fix that relationship with La Liga otherwise uh, they will have uh, no, no margin to to try to negotiate and uh, to focus on their number one goal that is uh, Robert Lewandowski and number two is Marcos Alonso. But right now they are not even able to register the the players they have already agreed, uh, Kessie and Christensen. How much have they learnt their lesson from what happened last summer? Obviously thinking we'll get the messy deal done somehow. We know how that ended. Looking at this Lewandowski deal, it feels almost you've got the same sort of taste. Yeah, 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 and and this uh, uh, you see this, uh, this this new board of members of John Laporta they criticize a lot what the previous ones did the the, the previous ones Bartomeu and, and Sandro Rossell did an absolute mess uh, during ten years but uh, I think they are some kind doing the, the same mistakes um, be, because of the same thing because they they are uh, uh, an elected board of members and they need to keep that but but they are doing the same they are talking with Lewandowski they are uh, coming to the press saying yeah yeah we will uh, sit in the table with the top players they tried to pursue the Haaland signing uh, Barcelona cannot afford this right now and and you just need to to look at the the salaries and the situation and and really they are desperate trying to that the players have a pay cut and uh, they are not doing well and all being done public it makes it even more embarrassing as you as you mentioned Dan it's really a, a very complicated situation for Barcelona after not having win anything this season. Desperate. Xavi is really annoyed by this situation. Uh, uh, we've been told that he's really worried because he asked for, for some uh, a striker, uh, a, a defender, and, and he's worried that he will be not having what he needs uh, for the team being back to being a competitive team. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.